The following video is an excerpt from Nutrition Detectives, a classroom program supported in part through an unrestricted educational grant from Juice Plus. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Katz. Thanks so much for joining me in my classroom here today. As you'll soon see, this is no ordinary classroom. This is a magical classroom designed to turn you into nutrition detectives. And joining me in the classroom today, I have some assistants. I have Brianna, Austin, Coco, Dominic, Ryan, and Angela. You guys ready to become nutrition detectives? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, here's what we're going to cover today. First, we're going to talk about why food matters. Then, we're going to talk about if you are what you eat, what the heck are you? That eating well can be hard to do. Well, let's get started. Dominic, why does what we eat matter? Well, because, like, when we're young, what you eat may, like, affect you when you're older. So it, it isn't necessarily about if I, if I don't eat something that's good for me today, I'll fall down tomorrow. But you're building your health for later on. On the other hand, I think kids tend to be focused on something a little bit different. So Austin, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Soccer, Soccer. kickball, football. Soccer, kickball, football, pretty good list. Coco, what do you like to do? I, um, I play basketball, tennis, wow. I swim. So, now, you know, as kids, you do these activities. Angela, w when you do an activity that you like to do, why do you do it? Because it's fun. It's fun, right? Yeah. You like to do it, and you do it, and that's fun. And I think one of, the, one of the things that kids are really expert in, more expert than grown-ups, is having fun, right? And when you do these activities you like to do, you need energy to do them, right? Right. I mean, when you run, you probably run, want to run really fast, right? And not like this. <laughs> right? Am I right with that? And if you're playing basketball, Coco, and you're jumping, you probably want to jump pretty high as opposed to like that, right? <laughs> so where does the energy come from? Brianna, what do you think? The food that you eat. The food that you eat. Everybody agree? Right. Good answer. Food is the fuel that runs our bodies. It's the source of energy to do the things you love to do right now. Why should kids worry about health? Because taking good care of yourself now, you will have more fun. Now, there's one other very important thing. Angela, would you come up here for just a second and help me out, please? Sure. Stand right here, my dear. Now, a Angela, uh, would you agree that at this particular moment in time, you are approximately, say, this tall? Yes. Yes? Okay, just about right there. Yeah. And uh, would you also agree that at some point in the future, uh, you may be taller? Some Is your mom about that tall? A little taller. A little taller, okay. All right, so you've got some growing to do. So you're going to grow maybe that much, right? Maybe, maybe more, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going to grow that out of? Food. Food. Okay. Now, you are going to grow more Angela out of food that you eat. Right. And I want you to make a choice. I'm going to give you a multiple choice question. Okay. okay? You could grow it out of A, junk, <laughs> junk food, or B, good stuff. Take your time. Don't rush. What's your choice? B. Thank you. Excellent answer. Thank you very much, Angela. Have a seat. So we've all agreed now that choosing food well is important. It affects how much fun we have. It affects how healthy we are. Why don't we just automatically choose the food that's best for us? How about you, Austin? How come you sometimes eat something that may not be the most nutritious? I usually eat non-nutritious food because it's very yummy in my tummy. <laughs> it's yummy in your tummy. It tastes good, right? I couldn't agree more. Some of that stuff that we're really not supposed to eat if we want to stay healthy and strong, we eat because it's fun to eat. It tastes pretty good, right? So candy and ice cream and cookies. How come we just don't automatically like those foods 
that are the very best for us? I think the answer to that is that the world has changed an awful lot from the kind of world people used to know. So if you would, Dominic, Ryan, Angela, come on up here. We're going to go back in time to see why choosing good food, or for that matter, choosing to be physically active, getting exercise every day, can be tough for lots of people in the world today. You ready? Yeah. Hold on tight. Here we go. Wow. Well, you know, I'm the one with the magical zapper, but even I can't get used to this. It's so incredible, huh? We had that classroom diorama sitting on the table. Here we are. And of course, the point of this trip is to see that the way people got food throughout most of history was very different from today. They didn't have fast food restaurants back then. Mm -hmm. They didn't have supermarkets either. They had to get their food the hard way. And in fact, they didn't even need nutrition detective skills because there were no bags, boxes, bottles, jars, or cans. We need them today, though. But we should take a closer look at how people got their food back then, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go see. Now look around here, guys. This is how people used to get food back in the old days. Ryan, you see any fast food restaurants around here? None in here. Dominic, any supermarkets here? Not that I can see. And Angela, any confusing food labels around here to figure out? Not really. See, this is the way things used to be. Food used to come from nature, right? From fields like these. People grew their own food. They didn't have to try to get exercise back then because everything was based on muscle power. They really didn't have any machines. So just living took a lot of physical work. Growing food took a lot of physical work. Wow. I, I told you this is no ordinary classroom. Wow. The preceding video was an excerpt from Nutrition Detectives, a classroom program supported in part through an unrestricted educational grant from Juice Plus. For information on how you can obtain the complete Nutrition Detectives video for your classroom, free of charge, please visit www.nutritiondetectives.com.